second round, so we're in no gi. Sean McManus versus Joe Pilmer. Big Joe. Big Joe. Kind Joe. <laughs> kind Joe. Say. Gentle Giant. Gentle Giant. Facing Murder Face. Facing Murder Face. <laughs> Who has a good front, but he's also kind hearted. <laughs> really strong on his feet. He's obviously. got the, the best mean mug in the game that we've ever seen. Oh, I. I yeah, I can't pull off a mean mug to save my life, but uh, he's got it down. So he's a judo player, so stand-up is his, his game. He likes that. Incredibly tough to submit, but uh, I know Joe is a very tough competitor as well, so this actually is a really good matchup. Yeah, someone was telling me that the last time, uh, uh, or since 1996, I should say, Sean McManus has only been submitted six times. <laughs> Rumor has it, yeah. <laughs> And John Kelly's comment was uh, that he was submitted six times last week, so. <laughs> oh, doing well. <laughs> What's interesting about Sean is he, he brings such a judo background where yeah. most people who compete at the, at the road events are primarily jujitsu or, or wrestling. So that's, that's true, that. yeah. It is an interesting style he has, and he does love the heel hook, so he does have to take that out of his game today. <laughs> Um, but yeah, really strong uh, in his jujitsu as well. He is a jujitsu brown belt. Oh, nice snap down. And against the wall, okay, so we're getting a reset. Just checking the position. Hardest job as the ref, actually, is checking that position to make sure you get it right. Yeah, we both know that well. That's just, it's a challenge. Somebody will always complain, but we do our best, and we get it mostly right. Josh took good notes. Good job, Josh. Very studious, that, Mr. They had two good sports too, and they're making sure they had the same, uh, yeah. same grip. Oh, but they're just right back into right it. Right into the triangle. Waste no time. time. Yeah. He also looks likes the look of that arm. He's making sure he's got good control of the arm as well. And you can feel the strength of Joe. I like calling the silverback for a reason. <laughs> yeah, the silverback. It's a good name. Very appropriate. Uh, he got silver. Speaking of silver, silver at the fall brawl. Absolute. Yes, yeah, she was beaten by Ilya Abelov on points. Wow. So shout out to uh, Ilya, obviously. Yeah, for tremendous sure. athlete. Sad he couldn't be here with us today. Oh, he's fun to watch, though. Just one of those freak athletes. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes athleticism goes a long way. Combine that with te technique, and that's a. Uh, Makes for a dangerous combo. Nice. What's he got there? He's got that, his leg around the arm. I can't quite tell from this angle. Looked like he was trying to get his leg in there. And back to a guard. This is exciting. Yeah, so explosive. And Absolutely. Sean decides he wants to go. Is, he goes. Yeah. Now Joe's very patient. You know, to try to find his game and pick his movements. Yeah, and they're, they are both experienced enough that they won't make any, any poor mistakes. They'll be, they'll be calculated about it. Say so thanks again to our sponsors, longtime sponsors, uh, Pro-Am Belts, Josh Radkin out of uh, Ohio, who's been the belts for the hanging out here today. They are sitting in front of me and they are beautiful. Yeah, so thanks, Josh. We really appreciate that. You always helping us out with great new designs every season. Uh, obviously, uh, Akira and Break New Ground Canada, Roll Chaser has been with us since the very beginning. Um, Jordan and Shelby at Creative Lifestyle Studio, tremendous photographers doing everything. Oh, absolutely. I have, I've mentioned them a couple times because their photography is just amazing and they do the best job at documenting these events for you guys. And it's, yeah. Well, it's great when you have people that love the sport. Yeah, know, exactly. Like oh, that's back. exciting. Very tight. Looking for his body triangle? Yes, he is. He loves that body triangle. He has submitted a number of folks with the pressure in that. Um, it's not comfortable. I can tell you from experience, it's not comfortable. And yeah, Big Joe's got to say a big body to get around. He does. He oh, like he's but he's got it. And now he's oh. going to squeeze. He's going to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. It looks like it's slipping, though. He can't quite 
Just lock it in as tight as he wants. Time to adjust. Yeah, he is Joe staying calm. Had to expect this. Yep. Anybody against Sean had to figure the body triangle. Yeah, he knew it was coming. But he's staying calm. He doesn't feel like he's in any great danger, I don't think, right now. He's waiting it out. There, see? Sean was forced to let go of that and go back to just the regular guard. But he's sitting up, which is interesting. So that means he look, shows me that he's trying to, to hunt for something else. I can't see what's going on on the other side. He might be trying to isolate that arm, but now he's posting. It'd be interesting to see if he tries that body triangle again, because that is kind of one of his sign signature moves. So. No, I've seen him collect more than a couple wins with yeah. the uh, body triangle. Have you from experienced Bob and Gary. it? It's you know what? I'm <laughs> thankful to say I have not. That's a good thing. Oh, and a pass. Good pass. Good pass. Clean, very clean. Now I do know from experience, Joe can deliver a lot of pressure from Seneca. I'm sure he can. I'm just a voice, but I'm a lightweight for anybody who doesn't know me. And I have a great picture of me rolling with, with Joe. Joe is, you know, heavyweight or, or so. I'm a light feather, but he rolled like a gentleman. It's a great photo. That's one of the things I love so much about the Maritime Jiu Jitsu community is just anybody can go anywhere and roll and feel safe with any opponent. There's no Kind and respectful of everybody. Uh, it's pretty cool. I just said earlier, I'm thankful all the time for being part of this maritime jiu-jitsu scene. So Joe's staying heavy, but uh, his mobility is a little, little limited there by Sean. So it's unsure where he wants to go from here. Sean once had a seven second submission win. I'm not sure which tournament that was, but seven seconds is a. That was the absolute final in the last tournament. Okay, when, uh, okay, Sean you remember that. Sean punched his ticket to this Grand Prix. I there do, I go. called that match. Oh, nice. It's just one of those days where Sean just was not going to be denied. No. Came out there with a, he's that. determined, that's for sure. He's, a, he's determined. Josh kind of slip him back in the center. Sean's wife also does martial arts, um, and she's very talented. She's fun to roll with. So Sean's lucky he's got uh, martial arts in his family. He trains with a variety of, of people, ranging from his brother, who's a, who's a heavyweight, his wife, who's a, a light feather like myself. Um, he's used to rolling with a lot of different styles. Um, a lot of different body types, and he's wow. handling this like a champ here, rolling with, with Joe, who's calm and, and methodical. I mean, alternating from uh, Fredericton Judo Club and Gagetown BJJ mm -hmm. too, I mean, both big, well-known, well-respected clubs, a lot of killers in both those lineups, and a lot of body types. Yeah. I've seen uh, uh, a number of Gagetown folks over the years. And Fun crew they are. I don't think we have a timer going for this one, but we must be a few minutes in. <laughs> Just a few. You can yeah, see sweat coming off your hobby. Sweat coming off Joe, Yeah, they're working hard. So Sean can't seem to be able to get out of this position, the side control. But Joe can't seem to be able to advance. He is using um, a little bit of strength here to try to isolate that arm, but he's now transitioning to a, around the head. A lot of respect from both guys. They know how dangerous their opponent is. So trying to be very conscious in their movements. Absolutely. Very deliberate. Yeah, when you get to this high level, you can't make mistakes. 
in these at these uh, these events. You know, you have to be very careful. Joe, maybe looking to go north south. Yeah. Might not work out for him. Sean is uh, spidery sometimes. Sean might take this as his opportunity. No. Joe's settling right back into side control on the other side. Got that one arm trapped in his armpit. Just good grip on the wrist. Not sure if he's going to use this to try to advance his position or attack. He's thinking. He's thinking about his options. The thing is, Sean doesn't give a lot of options, so. Sweat is just pouring off Joe. Yeah, it's a warm day. Nice summer day. Good day for Grand Prix. Sean gets back to half guard. That's good. Improving his position little by little. It's oh. always tough when you start getting close to the edges. You don't yeah. want to penalize somebody from working so hard to get the to get his position and yet yeah, oh, Joe did have a, a starting to set up the head and arm triangle there but yeah Sean was able to get back to full guard that's no go all right good position good time to stop yep. and reset good call by our fantastic official Mr. Blanchard <laughs> you biased well, maybe yeah. love him like a brother yeah Except when he pulls his calf slicer nonsense on. Oh yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't stand for that either. No, no calf slicers. So Sean finally back to a position that he likes better. Back to the closed guard. He likes to sit up. Um, thing. I'm not sure if that's because of the of Joe's size, or if that's something he favors sitting up and rather than trying to pull or break down Joe's posture. Yeah, it's just emblematic of Sean's style. Just that yeah. hard nose, yeah, bring exactly. it to you, kind of. Mm -hmm. I mentioned earlier in, in Sean's first match in the Gi that uh, he's never been submitted at a Rogue event. So if uh, anybody else wants to win that belt today, they're going to have to submit Sean McManus for the first time. <laughs> Someone's going to spoil that party. Yeah. Well, Sean's case for the uh, claim of the best Yushu Taro on the East Coast is on display here today. It was no doubt he, uh, he came ready. He mm. did. Well, he takes these things seriously, right? He loves competing. He, he wouldn't... Uh, he wouldn't slack off. He'd take it, uh, make sure his training was on point. Now, Sean's style lend itself so well to this uh, this event as well. It's, to your point, he's, uh, he's 21 and five yeah. lifetime at Rogue events with all 21 wins by way of submission. Never been submitted himself in a Rogue tournament. He's not looking for points. He, no. wants, he wants to finish all the time. He understands that game. He can play it, the points game, but this is definitely more his style. It's interesting now that we're into the second round and these matches are getting longer. Yeah, fatigue is, starts to play a factor. Yeah. So I'm trying to work that into your strategy too. Is. For sure. Whoever wins this match is, will be going to the final, so they have to, you have to remember that. Joe might be trying to go to full mount here, if he can scoop that knee through. Mm, 
Looks like he changed his mind. Lots of active coaching from the corner, from Joe's corner. Back to full guard. Back to full guard. He's keeping Joe nice and close, keeping his posture down. Just uncomfortable. <laughs> and there we go. All right, so Joe's back up. I saw there that a minute ago, Sean tried to set up that body triangle again. It looks like it's not quite working for him the way it normally does. No, very few people in Sean's actual weight division would have that circumference <laughs> around their trunk. That's know. true, that's true. Joe is a big body. Former Elite One heavyweight title contender, Joe Pilmer. Oh, is he? Oh, look at that. Well known around uh, the club in the Maritimes as just being a good guy. Absolutely. Like I said, I've rolled with him in the past and he's, he's been nothing but kind to me. Definitely well over 10 minutes now. It doesn't matter how good of an athlete you are at this point, you've been rolling at this uh, this intensity for over 10 minutes, you're getting tired. Constant asymmetric resistance. Right? Nothing's coming at you straight on. It's all angles yeah. and active resistance, active pressure. Sean's thinking about something here. I yeah. think he's just trying to bait Joe for something. It'd be a mistake to think he was content <laughs> to sit in the barrel. Yeah. A little shout out for Dan Vanderland and Tech Nasty, another long time supporter of Rogue Grappling and a mainstay in the maritime scene. And another fantastic human being. This, uh, this community is full of them. Cask, uh, Cask and Kettle Irish Gastropub, best pub in St. John. Welcoming all the competitors, corners and athletes to the pub this afternoon. If we, uh, once the event is wrapped up for a meal to celebrate another successful year, and of course, what a what a great way to cap off another season here at the Grand Prix. Oh, that was a nice transition. You saw Joe trying to use that wrestler's move to flip Sean over, and Sean was just like, no, strong neck, strong back. Denied. trying to control Sean's head, not give him a lot of comfortable options for movement. Yep. Sean's having a look at that foot, change his mind. Sweat becomes such a big factor here too. Oh, the slipperiness? Yeah, that can really change your plan if you <laughs> if your foot slips. I always joke about that. Whenever we alternate from gi to no gi at the club, by the time I just start finding my no gi game again, we switch back to the gi. Yeah. <laughs> Some people have a preference. Some people just don't like rolling one or the other. Yep. I, uh, I'm a gi player. It's I'm a gi player, I too. Like the, I like the collar chokes and the grips. And I do as well. I like the speed of no gi. They both have a lot to offer. They do, sure. yeah. Oh, okay. He's got a strong, like, a chin pick there. He wants to set his arms in there. I don't 
dare say it, but I, I think Sean's tired. Don't let him hear you. <laughs> I'll pay for that later. <laughs> well, I mean, carrying around the pressure of a, a big guy like Joe Thomas, I mean, that, that wears on anybody. Oh, absolutely. You know, the no time limit format, I mean, there's... Over 15 minutes now. to Joe just tripod it up and very content to let Sean carry his weight. Yeah, right. Like <laughs> that's well, that's the way this game is played. Stay heavy. Oh looking for the back. Looking for the back. Oh, Didn't try to get those hooks. Just content to have Sean carry that weight. Yep. Yeah. Interesting, because that's it's, it's interesting to see people's strategies. Like, I'm very much like of the uh, the style. If I get that opportunity to pinch, you know, pinch on their hips, isolate their hips, get that movement uh, limited, and then slide those hooks in as soon as I can. That was a nice little snap down there. Get them flat for a moment. Yeah, just letting Sean know that you know, Joe's got some power and he's not afraid to use it. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because they both they were very explosive in the beginning. Now that they're nearing 20 minutes, they're starting to tire. Um, a less of less of that explosiveness, but that's yeah, like you say, Joe, just saying, no, it's still there if I need it. <laughs> that's one thing about Joe Pilon that I've always admired, and I've, I've trained with him for a lot of years. And that his fight IQ, just knowing and thinking on the fly for how he's going to adjust. Because, you know, it's like the Mike okay. Tyson thing. Everybody has a plan to get punched in the face. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Joe's just excellent at adjusting on the fly. Much yeah, to well, the sugar in of many. <laughs> oh, he's maintaining excellent control here. Just excellent. It's true. You go in with a plan, and if, if your opponent doesn't offer what you were planning, you're, your plan's gone. <laughs> you better figure something out. Yeah. Right. Trying to suck that foot in. Joe stripped it away. Again, sweaty, slippery. That's the thing about no gi. Something that might work in the gi with that little bit of friction doesn't work. Josh is giving a reminder to keep moving. He knows everyone's getting tired. You gotta stay busy. All right. Staying very tight here. He wants that arm. He's squeezing with the legs. He's trying to use that to make him let go, maybe. I have a bad angle from here. I can't quite see. But you, you know he's squeezing with those legs. That's not comfortable for Sean. Okay, Sean's out. Oh, he's out. Oh, okay. Interesting. That must be yeah, right back to his oh, feet. back to his feet. He's you know that that's a better choice for Sean. Very he's like, All smart. Right. Yeah. Let's see if Sean's judo game comes in here. Yeah. That was a long time spent in not favorable, favorable position, so you, you know what's to expect next. Sean's going to bring it back to his game. Interesting. That's not what I expected there. Sean's back on the bottom. Everybody's at risk of having fatigue influence their decisions at this point. Absolutely. Yeah, over 20 minutes now. Last year's thrilling matchup between Josh Presley and Jerry McIntosh at 32 <laughs> minutes. That's I think, right. Uh, it's still the high score. Still a record. <laughs> that was a fun match. Oh. 
one of the best. And a clash between two uh, other great guys in Maritime, just two mainstays. For sure. Time limits makes it interesting for the competitors, but also the competitors on deck. It's hard to hard to stay warm when it, you're mad. You could be up in five minutes or 25 minutes. Sean spent a lot of time here uncomfortable, but certainly not willing to give up. I don't know what the official weight difference is between the two of them because obviously this is an open weight mm -hmm. event. Um, but uh, whatever it is, it is definitely significant. There is some weight difference, yeah. Sean almost got back to a full guard. And Joe did a great job of trapping that, uh, that right leg in. I think he probably knows that if Sean does get to a position he wants to be in, he will use some of that explosiveness to, to go for something right away. Just a real quick shout out to all the clubs and maritime scene. It's so nice to see so many of them represented here today. And oh, absolutely. Especially coming through a, a very challenging and bizarre year for a lot of reasons, not the least of which being COVID, but um, great to see the you know, community on display here and uh, so many people coming out for, uh, for the event and put their skills on display. Absolutely. I've said it several times through the day already, but we really do have the best jiu-jitsu community and uh, yeah, a really great display of talent here today. And people coming from all over the maritime bubble. Trapped. You know Sean wants that leg back. <laughs> Sean hooking his leg. Ah. Possibly looking for maybe more than scared that he can get his other arm off. You can't see what he's doing with his right arm, but well there's an omoplata set up from there as well. things you can do. Yeah, Joe's got his right arm very deep bones. Not given much. There we go. Sean's okay. adjusting, yeah. Yep. He's got that triangle in there. I don't think he's going to be able to finish this though with that Joe's arm hidden down there. But he's trying. He is squeezing. He's going for it. I, I don't know how this is going to work for him, but he's going to try. Justin again. Now he wants that arm. See, Joe has his hands locked right up, so that's going to be... Take some of the pressure yeah. off. Yeah. But Sean's strong. Can't be comfortable for Joe. Oh, arm's free. Oh, oh, oh and it's half. Tap. 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 Tap from the triangle. Wow. What a bad Oh, my one. goodness. Over 25 minutes. Good job. These boys. Excellent work. Excellent work. Tremendous battle. Great sign of respect for both guys. Another you know great war. Sean McManus for the win with the triangle. Winner. Oh, great match.